Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn. I recently Marie Kondoed my space. The, kid, the kids do that. Um, recently Marie Kondoed my whole space and as you can see, nothing brought me joy. I'm moving is what's happening. And the reason I was able to move all my stuff relatively easily is because beforehand, when I had everything in here, I planned ahead, took the time and decluttered all my stuff so that I was only moving things I actually wanted into my new space. Did you know that there is a crevice of the YouTube internets where people record themselves decluttering and organizing their material possessions? So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's declutter clothes. So the first step is to bring all your clothes from everywhere into one space, one spot. So not just the ones in your bedroom closet, but also the random hoodies in the trunk of your car, everything in the coat closet. The idea is to declutter by category, not by room. I also had a couple loads of laundry and I didn't want to like declutter my dirty clothes. But I was so ready to just get started that I started the decluttering process before doing the laundry. What's in the laundry is a good indicator of what I enjoy wearing because I did wear it. I am not a fashionista by any means, but it still surprised me. You know, I feel like I have a butt ton of clothes. I do. It kind of overwhelmed me. <sighs> where did all this come from? Where did, where did it all come from, y'all? Which is hilarious because everything's relative. You know, there is someone who owns four shirts, you know? My brother. And there is someone who owns 200 shirts. What? Sharon, you don't need have them shirts. So after putting all your clothes in a pile, you're supposed to touch everything, you know what I'm saying? To reactivate its juices, to reactivate the memories, you know, in your, in your mind's eye. And by touching the clothing, you remember what it means to you or what it doesn't mean to you. A lot of the times, you know, you ain't even seen that dress since your cousin's wedding, or you haven't touched that onesie since your baby was a baby. But girl, that baby is almost three years old. Stop saying 32 months. Supposed to hold it, think about it, and see if it brings you joy. Um, I'll make a keep pile. I'll make a donate pile. Let me just get to it. It's hot in here. Marie Kondo. <laughs> This one doesn't bring me joy because I wear it when I exercise. And I rarely exercise. Uh, this is a maybe. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a maybe pile. So there's a couple items in my closet that are props for videos. I bought them for a purpose. A purpose that doesn't have to do with me in real life because it was for a video project. So I'm gonna make another pile called props slash costumes. Yeah. I forgot I had this. So this is another prop. It is a men's blazer. I wore it for a sketch. Here is the character. <laughs> so, you know, I wanna keep it around in case I wanna bring him back, you know? But it's not part of my wardrobe. So I think I'm gonna put it in the prop pile um, for later. It is worth noting that I don't think this is part of the KonMari method, making piles 
but it was helpful for me to make different piles and come back to the pieces I was iffy about later. So like the first round of Does It Spark Joy was like for speed, like yes, no, uh, yes, no, uh, yes, no, mm. because some things were definite yeses. Oh, okay. This, this Sade shirt has like pit stains and like rips, but I love this girl. Like this is one of my favorite shirts. Got it at a Sade concert. And you know, I just feel blessed that I was able to do that, you know what I'm saying, in my lifetime. Now these, these are hammer time pants from H&M. I have wore them out. Elasticity in the waist is gone. They got rid of this rip in the booty. There's a hole over by the ankle, but God dang it, these are my airport pants. So I'm gonna keep these in the yes pile because it brings me joy. It's raggedy, but it brings me joy. And some things were definite no's. Ooh, so this came in a set. Where is the top? It's like a crop top Fashion Nova thing that my friend got, but it didn't fit them, so they gave it to me. And I just, look, when I put it on, I just looked like Kim Possible's arch nemesis that like low key can't run fast enough to catch her. No upper body strength, just an out of breath arch nemesis. I don't remember. I mean, I might have been nine. The last time I experienced jeans that fit. These jeans are practically new, worn them a handful of times, felt like crap. They're tight and they're loose at the same time. So, doesn't bring me joy. Brings me rage. And then some things made me feel things. And you know what I'm saying? I like to suppress my feelings for as long as possible, so um, I put it in the pot to the top. In the Comerie method, sentimental items is a whole category unto itself. And sentimental items were difficult for me for more than just the obvious reasons of it, you know, hits me in my heart pocket, it's because yes, I have a box of sentimental items like photos and cards, but I also found that I was finding sentimental items along the way in other categories. I would look at a piece of clothing and realize at that moment that it was sentimental to me. My cousin gave this to me in Kenya. It doesn't fit the best. Um, the chesticles are just a little bit too big. I wear it because I like my cousin, not because the shirt fits. This is my dad's shirt. I want it. Let's put it in the maybe. I like my dad more than I like the shirt. Another bag. I love the person who gave it to me, but I have never actually used it. Ooh, why haven't I used it? It's going in the maybe. So I decided not to worry about it too much, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna have this Japanese lady stress me. And I just decided to declutter sentimental items in each phase of decluttering, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I have a, I have a basket of snapbacks, so. <clears throat> this is full of hats. Uh, let's go through it. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh, this hat is for, um, my puppet. <laughs> it's a snapback for my puppet, so. He don't really have much of a head to begin with. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Cl close your mouth. Okay, yes. <laughs> Let me show you what I have so far. That small pile is our prop clothes. This is maybe. Mementos also went here, things that I can't wear, but 
means something to me. Um, oh, sorry, panties. <laughs> you see some panties. Um, all right, so this is the no pile. This is full of stuff that I do not like, things like that. And then I also threw in all the panties that uh, need to go, you know? This huge pile is brings me joy. And it's really all the clothes that I actually wear. I'm gonna go through that one again just because I don't trust myself. And I might be confusing fits with brings me joy. You feel me? So I'm gonna go through that again, but that's what I have so far. So I sat there with the pile of things that I said sparked joy, and I really for real for real thought about it. And I tried on things in the F pile and made decisions based on that. This is not my style, you know what I'm saying? It says YouTube on it. Um, but definitely a prop jacket. Oh, but it's cute and it drapes. Oh, oh. Nah, it's, it's a no. I like it. Oh. oh, this one shrunk. I remember why I don't wear it anymore. See, look, my wrists are cold. What is, who am I, what is, what is this? Like, I know I work for PBS, but like, what? Mr. Give you Mr. Rogers a couple yards of fabric from Nigeria and I just haven't done anything with it. I just have them because every good African girl should have a rapa. The bathing suit itself brings me joy. And I'm working on my body bringing me the same amount of joy, amen? I'ma work on me. But it's not the bathing suit's fault, okay? Do I just have long arms? Like, like what is happening? You know, it's giving you baby shower, but that is not the dress's fault, okay? I think it's a cute dress. I, it's too much. It's giving you, I'm I'm giving you collarbone. And Lakeith Stanfield, cute and everything, but do I need to wear his face on my torso? Ah, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. Um, why can't we all just be naked? I basically took a day to get this done. A little more, it kind of trickled over. And the amount of time it takes you just depends uh, on how much stuff you have. But another important aspect of the Marie method is to dedicate yourself to doing it in one go. If it takes you more than a day, make sure they're consecutive days, back to back, get it done. Otherwise, you're not, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do, you're not gonna finish. I was definitely pretty much over it by the end of it all, to be honest. Like, I was done. I just wanna be fashionable and like cool and like. <laughs> what? had a bunch of clothes to give away, which was a tinge embarrassing. Um, again, because I'm not a fashionista. Who gave me the right to have all these clothes? I also had a bag of clothes that I wanted to sell or just be more intentional about who would be the next owner of those items. Maybe like a giveaway on social media. I don't know, don't roll up on me. They are things that I either enjoyed and they don't fit anymore or I don't like them as much anymore, it's not my style anymore, or it's something that I purchased because I wanted to support the maker of the thing, not because like I liked the thing. This pile right here is yes, brings me joy, slash it fits. And this pile right here is no, give it away, sell it or something. So don't be, don't be in your feelings when you see a video sponsored by Poshmark. Okay, don't be in your feelings. As far as the whole folding process in the Comerie method, I will link to videos that explain it better than I feel like doing, but it's what I did. The goal is to have your shirts and things be visible to the eye. Everything is stacked like this 
versus piles like we tend to do like that. I did not fold any of my socks or drawers in the KonMari method just because for me and the type of drawers I have and the material of the drawers, it was pretty hard to like fold them standing up. They would just slide around in the drawer and I'm not about to go to Target or Ikea or the container store to buy an organizer for some drawers. It's just panties, okay? I threw away the ones that have holes. What else do you want from me? And when that was all over, I went to Home Goods and bought some velvet hangers. I got them so my clothes wouldn't slide off the hangers like they used to do with the plastic ones I had. And you know, just a little elevated, you know, just a little elevation as far as my closet, or should I say closet? <laughs> and while I think the Comari method states that you should like hang your clothes in order of length or something, I didn't do that. I color code my closet just because it has worked for me for years and it helps me get dressed easier and faster in the morning for me to be like, what do I wanna wear? Black pants, green shirt, go. So that's me. You can put your thing down, flip it and reverse it. But other than that, you know, we're done. With the clothes, just the clothes. This whole video is just clothes. Um. So with our space and mind decluttered and tidy and full of only things that bring us joy, it's time to pay some bills. A shout out to Audible for sponsoring today's video. The partnership continues from the new apartment. Girl, we made it, okay? Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks, including Audible Originals, which are exclusive titles created by storytellers from a multiplicity, ooh, that one just fell out, from a variety of different disciplines and genres like theater, journalism, literature. Get your first audiobook for free plus two free Audible Originals with the 30-day trial membership. Just visit audible.com slash Evelyn or text Evelyn to 500-500. A suggestion, if I may, if you have not listened to Marie Kondo's audiobook, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, go ahead, do that. How about you do that, okay? That's just my suggestion, but you can go ahead and choose whatever audiobook you want with your free 30-day trial membership, and it's yours to keep ear hashtag irregardless of what happens at the end of those 30 days. And that's why I love Audible, because they're not trifling, they're realistic, okay? Audible is where I get my self-help on. It can be where you get your self-help on. So go ahead and start your free 30-day trial membership by visiting audible.com slash Evelyn or text Evelyn to 500-500 to get your free audiobook and M2 Audible Originals. All right, back to you, Evelyn, from the past. We out here! In the comments below, what I want you to tell me, let me know what your favorite piece of clothing is. Yes, what does it mean to you? And the idea, the goal, is that the next video in this little decluttering mini series is going to be books and papers, which I learned the booktube community has feelings about. Feelings. Drama. See you on the internet somewhere. Bye!